Hi everyone, Tess from Evergreen Knits. I was going to be filming a tutorial for how to do a super stretchy bind off and I realized that I need to add a new ball of yarn so I thought I would show you all how I do that. I don't know what this is called but it's certainly not something that I have invented. Um, if I'm working with 100% wool I will do spit splicing or water felting but I find that this knot for acrylics and anything else, um, any natural fibers that don't felt works really really well. So what you're going to do, and I just have this yarn held double because that's what I'm doing for this pattern. Um, it works single stranded or double stranded. So you're going to take what you have and place it like this, making sort of a C with the open end on the top. White yarn is probably not the best for this, but hopefully you can see okay. Then you're going to take your new ball. I have my two strands held here. And what you're going to do... So you have this loop, right? And you're gonna to wanna to make sure, I actually do it coming in from the left side because for some reason that's easier for me. So here is this yarn. You're gonna come from the top and you're gonna lay it underneath that, right? Then you're gonna take it and pull it over. And then you're gonna go underneath into this where my thumb is, so around the base of where it just came from, underneath, and through. It's actually even more confusing when you're using double-stranded, so let me make sure I'm not messing it up. I messed it up. Let's try it again, because this might happen to you too. So, see? Take these two, come in from the top, and lay it underneath, right, you blade it underneath, you pull it back over, and you bring it through here, you pull it through, okay, this time I did it right, <laughs> and you'll have sort of what looks like a figure eight, and what you want to do is tighten it a little bit, but not too much, because you want this knot to be really right at the base of your needle. So you're kind of just going to pull it and shimmy it up so that when you do end up pulling it tightly, it's really snug. See, it's not quite there yet, so pull it, shimmy it a little bit more. Shimmy is not a technical term here. And there, see, it's like really tight against the needle. And so you have this knot, and when you've tied it tightly like that, what's really nice is it's going to sit at the back of your work and it's not going to pull through. So we're going to take the working yarn again to the right side. Take a look here, and now you're ready to go. Oops, and see, oh, if that that's actually really helpful. If that happens where you pull in the working yarn and the knot starts to go, you just pull the knot back up. There we go. Sometimes you have to pull on a few. And there you have it. So you don't want to pull too tightly on this. You just start knitting. And that should work. Hope that's helpful. 